Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 5.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I was just literally in the middle of my workout. And I've been wanting to make a video about this one guy that works out and exercises and his positive attitude and influence in the gym specifically. I'll have a few links down below. His name is Joey Swole. And like I said, I've been wanting, I've been aware of him for a while. I probably, honestly, I, I haven't had the time making my own videos. I haven't had the time to watch as many videos as I'd like. But uh, I've watched at least a dozen. I, I plan on watching many more. He's on YouTube, he's on Instagram, and it is so refreshing and satisfying, and it restores my faith in humanity and in men. Um, recently on this channel, I've talked about specifically about you know what I think is uh, an alpha male, what I, what, the, what I think is a leader, and I've mentioned that a leader uh, leads by example. A uh, leader has empathy and sympathy and six st sticks up for people that might otherwise, people might otherwise talk down about or, or, or talk badly about or bully. And I've made videos recently uh, about this. Uh, some people more, it seems more and more men specifically, just more to the right, right wing uh, people thinking that false bravado and bullying and aggression is the sign of manhood. You know, I told myself I wasn't going to mention Donald Trump in this video, but yeah, people like Donald Trump. Anyway, I'll have a few videos down below. And uh, I can see just by the way he talks that he doesn't just walk the walk, he talks the talk. Like in the video down below, he talks specifically about one, I think, well, there's a couple of different videos down below, but there's one woman um talking about another gentleman in the gym and the way that he tries to reach her he uses empathy you know and he himself doesn't talk badly about people that are talking about badly about other people i mean he's doing he's not just talking to talk he's walking the walk and on top of that he uses empathy uh in one of these videos like i said he he, he told he asked this woman how would you feel if somebody said those things about your mother, you know, and, and I feel like I found a brother from another mother in Joey Swole, man. Uh, but it's just so good to see uh, what I what I would call a real man, an alpha, a, a leader, um, somebody that sticks up for other people, that leads by example. Like I said, you know, he doesn't just talk, the, you know, he, he, he doesn't need to talk badly, even about people that I won't say deserve it, but are talking badly about others. Okay, now I usually mention, you know, how this, there's, there's a lot of this I've had experience in. Just two years ago, two or three years ago before Audrey died, me and her were going to the gym together. And this is right before I needed a uh, complete hip replacement. And I was in, you know, there was bone against bone. I was in severe pain. And me and her would go to the gym every morning about 5.30. And I was walking bent over. I couldn't straighten up. You know, I still wanted to go to the gym. I, you know, I still, working out had become such a big part of my life. I refused to give up my workout. And there was a couple, there, there was one, one time in, in particular. I turned around quickly as I was talking to Audrey, and I saw two or three guys down at the other end of the gym, and they were mocking me, making fun of me. Uh, they were taking turns, like walking, like all bent over, like an old man, and laughing. And then I see them look at me they realize that i know that they're talking about me and they just continue laughing and it's you know it's not it's not a good feeling man um you know so i i do know how this feels i want to i want to say this too uh working out has become it was one of the huge one of the biggest factors in helping me stay clean and sober i'll just mention this briefly um when i first got clean and sober i, I mentioned you know uh, medically assisted treatment methadone and I had this this moment of clarity where I realized I didn't need it. But there was a big a big. I talked about how you have to get you know you have to have new friends, new new routines, new clothing. But taking up your time is one of the hardest things. Like I talked about before, about one of the hardest things was remembering is okay. It's two p.m. What did I used to do at two p.m. And that was a, a, a trap that I would always fall in. And repla replacing a routine, a new healthy routine. This, this is how it happened. One day, 
I was just trying to figure out something to do with myself. I, I had been clean and sober probably for about maybe a month. And it was in the afternoon and I decided, I, you know, I want to keep busy. I don't want to just sit here and let these thoughts, you know, it was, uh, it was the time of day when I would usually use. So I decided to go for a walk and that's how it all started. Now, I, I, some people would say I work out excessively about four hours, three or four hours a day. But that very first day, this is how it started out. Just with a 10 or 15 minute walk, I went up to the local dam and I went for a walk from one end to the other and back. Next day, it was, I enjoyed it so much. It calmed you know, the, the nature and the woods and the birds and the peace and quiet. It was just me walking on the dam. And uh, I, went, I started doing a little more each day and a little more. And I, I actually I started, it became a routine. And it was great because it, it, it was a, something new to replace the time when I used to use. And that's something I really needed. And uh, I started losing weight because I had almost been, I almost got up to 300 pounds when I was in recovery. A lot of people eat and gain weight when they're in recovery. And then after I'd lost weight, I started looking at myself and I realized I needed to firm up a little bit. So I went out and bought one, I think it was one 20 pound weight uh, the first time. You know, and it all started off in little increments and it grew and grew and grew because it kept, it was almost an addict mentality I still had in my head. Well, if a little's good, more's better. But at least this, this addiction is to exercise and working out. And, uh, and I realized it gets the blood flow going too. Like these walks, I swear to God, it's a true story. You could, you could look it up. Um, walking and exercise gets the blood flowing and gets the blood flowing to your brain. And I've talked about this before, but some of the most, a lot of the videos I do, I do after I walk because it's so quiet and peaceful. No TV, no people talking, no distractions, and your blood's flowing to your brain. And it's amazing how much clearer I would think of different my imagination, uh, paintings I wanted to do. Um, the, the difference was amazing. And it, it all started out with one 10 minute walk. Anyway. Props, big kudos to Joey Swole. Uh, I love this dude. I'm going to be watching more of his videos, and I, I'd like to make another video, uh, some more videos uh, concerning him. Watch the two videos down below. Uh, this, this is a true confident man, an alpha, a leader, whatever you want to call it, a, a real man, confident. All right, I'll talk to you later. You guys have a good Thursday.